congratulations, you can ring the bell. Mr. Sainer, Sanders shares started at a price of 24 Swiss francs into their independence. Do you consider the company fairly valued at this price? Uh, look, thank you for the question. I mean, the reality is my, not my job to comment on the value of the company. Ultimately, that's for the shareholders and investors to make that decision. My job is to focus on building the strongest company possible, continuing to deliver on our purpose and our vision, and execute our plans that we prevent, presented to investors over the last few months. So uh, I'm really excited to be here, and it's a real privilege to bring Sandoz back to the Swiss Stock Exchange. Critical voices say Novartis spun you off because the generic business did not deliver what would you reply to those? I don't see it that way. I mean, clearly our European business and our international business is consistently delivered. Um, we treat probably more European patients than pretty much any other pharmaceutical company. We're one of the only remaining antibiotics companies. We're the largest biosimilar company in Europe and international. Um, so I think a lot of the challenges more relate to the US. And there, I think we've done a really good job over the last few years, stabilizing the business, really bringing in a strong pipeline. And now we're starting to see that momentum. So we've delivered seven straight quarters of mid-single digit growth because we now have a stable US, a growing international, and a very strong European business. Some experts regard your growth forecasts as ambitious. What makes you so sure you will be able to fulfill them? Well, if you think about what's coming off patent, it's $400 billion of product due to come off patent in the next 10 years. So analysts will project this market to grow about five percentage points a year. So I think that the ambition that we have, given the very strong pos position in biosimilars um, and the scale that we have, particularly in Europe, sets us extremely well to deliver those growth targets. What advantages do you see coming from your newly gained independence? What goals can you achieve easier without your former parent? Ultimately, it's about focus. Um, by, by being an independent company, ultimately, we can choose to allocate capital, think about how we really focus within the business and what our priorities are, and also an opportunity to really speed up um, execution. Um, generics is much about, about being an entrepreneurial business. Things happen very quickly. And so an organization that can function like that really can better execute and grow.